Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. Now on a day when 16 wickets fell, late strikes from the West Indies fast bowlers have given them a fighting chance at stumps on day two against South Africa at Centurion. With the hosts 49 for four in their second innings, a lead of 179. Aidan Markham, 35, is a knockout batter after Jason Holder picked up Keegan Peterson with the last ball of the day for seven. With that wicket, Holder became the second West Indian to take 150 test wickets and score 2,500 runs. Azari Joseph has two for 17 and Kemar Roach one for 28. Earlier in the day, Joseph picked up his maiden five wicket haul in tests to finish with 5 for 81 in dismissing South Africa for 342 after they resumed at 314 for 8. After slipping to 58 for 2, the Windies in their first innings reply were steadied by a 64-run third wicket stand between Raymond Riefer, who top scored with 62, and vice-captain Jermaine Blackwood, 37. However, the Caribbean side crumbled from 169 for 3 to 212 all out. Roston Chase and Tej Naran Shandapal made 22 each and Kyle Mayer's 18. Anric Norquier was the chief destroyer for the Proteas with 5 for 36, his fourth five-wicket hole in tests, while there were two wickets each for Kagiso Rabada and Gerald Coetzee. Australia will look to build on their 47-run lead when play resumes on day two of their third test against India in Indore after Matthew Kuhneman's maiden test five-wicket hole gave them the advantage on the opening day. Kuhneman bagged 5 for 16 from 9 overs as India, electing to bat, were routed for just 109. Nathan Lyon also chipped in with 3 for 35 as Virat Kohli, 22, ended as India's top scorer. Shubman Gill was the next best, while Srikar Bharat and Umesh Yadav both made 17. Now in reply, Australia reached 156 for 4 at stumps, a lead of 47 runs. Usman Khawaja, 60, and Marnos Labuschagne, 31, are the top scorers so far. Steve Smith also made 26, while Travis Head was dismissed for 9. Peter Hanscom, 7, and Cameron Green, 6, will resume batting on day 2. Ravindra Jadeja has so far taken all four wickets for 63 runs. India lead the four-match series 2-0. Homo Technicals Florence Nafamba and St. Jago's Raheem Walker took the girls' and boys' 2,000-meter steeplechase events this morning. The first two finals at the two-day Central Athletics Championships currently underway at GC Foster College. Nafamba clocked 7 minutes 17.04 seconds to finish ahead of Sanye Gibson of Edwin Allen 7 minutes 26.68 and her schoolmate Tarika Clark who registered 7 minutes 28.93. Meanwhile, Walker logged 6 minutes 27.57 seconds to finish ahead of Belfield's Nicholas McLaren and Manchester's Ryan Oliphant. St. Jago are the defending boys champions and Edwin Allen, the reigning title holders on the girls' side. Leaders Arsenal can push their lead atop the English Premier League to five points this afternoon when they take on relegation-threatened Everton at the Emirates in one of two matches today. The Gunners are on 57 points from 24 matches, two ahead of Manchester City who have 55 from 25 matches. When the teams met on February 4, Everton clipped the leaders 1-0 in what was the first game in charge for manager Sean Dyche. Meanwhile, Liverpool, who are seventh yes. on 36 points, can move to within six points of fourth-place Tottenham Hotspur when they entertain Wolverhampton Wanderers at Anfield. Wolves are 15th on 24 points, three from the drop zone. Last time both teams met, Wolves were convincing 3-0 winners at the Molyneux. And that's it for your midday sports report. Shamila? Thank you, Jordan. And that's the midday news. I'm Shamila Pullen. Join us at 7 for primetime news on behalf of the news, sports and production teams. Good afternoon.